looking for magic cards at flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 and you also get automatically entered into the M20 booster box giveaway which runs until July 15th. Alright, let's be on the play. Well, this hand is pretty bad. Don't think we can keep this in any matchup. This hand is playable if we hit a red source off the top. Probably not going to do much better on the multi-5. This hand at least has potential if we hit a red source. So yeah, we'll try. Island? Is this Phoenix? This might be Phoenix. Appears to be. Yep. Okay. Interesting. So Phoenix, I think, is a good matchup for me, but... Not 100% on that. Alright, this turn is going to be pretty nice for us. Alright, Augur. So we're playing against the Augur version. We found a Lightning Strike. Do they have a Shock too? They do. Thought Erasure. And we've got the Finale lined up, which can get back a second Phoenix. So, Narset could be annoying. Teferi could be annoying. I kind of want to go Narset here. This is actually a tough spot. So next turn I want to go Hero plus Thought Erasure. Um, so that means my, this turn is it needs to either be a Narset or a Teferi. I'm going to just go the Narset. Alright, Narset. And I don't expect a minus here. Just say go. Opponent keeps Narset at 5 since it's very good against us if it sticks around. So I'm just going to play Phoenix from hand I think here. Alright, so this is a hard cast arc light. Send both at Narsets. We're gonna lose our Narset, but. Sloppy technique. Yeah, I don't like that. That's double arc light. Arc light's the best card against us, so two arc lights in the top, ten cards is, is bad. Oh my goodness, double finale. I think I'll just take one of the finales. Takes one of the finales. Lava coil. I'm thinking we just Lava Coil the hero and then attack Narset with Phoenix to make sure it dies. Could also attack it with Augur and let them chump block since we still have the Lightning Strike anyway. Because if they have another Narset, sending so much resources at Narset might be overkill. Lava Coil, a very annoying draw. Well... I'm gonna keep Narset alive. That that will make it awkward for my opponent, possibly. Alright, let's just play Teferi. That's probably gonna prompt a lightning strike. Alright, Teferi. This isn't going well for me, but like a D Spark, an Elite Guard Mage. There's a number of cards that could just really get me right back in. Teferi shuts off Finale of Promise, which I'm a big fan of. I think that's fine. Okay, cool. So. I kind of want to just bounce the Phoenix, which is, that sounds horrible, but I, I, I think that might actually just be the play. So they can't cast Finale with a Teferi in play. Alright, so this represents Tyrant's Corn, in which Planeswalker is more problematic. I think right now Teferi might be more problematic than Narset, although future draw steps could make Narset more problematic, since with Teferi we simply can't cast the Finale, whereas Narset only prevents a card draw. So I think our play is going to be Phoenix. Probably keep Island in hand. In case of future Bell Haunts and Tormenting Voices. Alright, replay the Phoenix. I, I do have I do have Tyrant Scorn, which can kill. So Augur comes at Teferi, and Phoenix is going to go at probably Narset. So I want to attack the Planeswalker I care about the least with the Augur, I think. And in this case, I think it's Narset. To make sure we kill Teferi. So Teferi down. I'm just gonna kill the Augur. So I get to preserve one of my Planeswalkers at least. And then say go. And then Teferi's probably just gonna tuck Arclight Phoenix. Let me just think this through. So Finale now does work, but they don't get to draw extra cards as long as a Narsa doesn't play. So I think Teferi tucking Arclight Phoenix is actually fine here. Now, like, they can finale for Shock plus Tormenting Voice. 
which I guess that kills Narset, and then the, they'll get back a Phoenix to kill Teferi, so that, that's kind of annoying, but at least that, I guess, ends the finale out of their hands. I don't even know. It's not really great for me. Arclight Phoenix is two draws down. I think this is fine. I mean, I still have another Teferi, so I'm not just straight dead. Could also target uh, Finale. I guess we can just target Finale just to have a sorcery. I guess it works. Whoa, Finale and f and Shock? Was that a was that a mistake? Does that work? I guess that works. That way we keep the tormenting voice in the graveyard for the future Finale. So I guess this worked out fine. Yeah, you don't often finale for finale, but I think in this spot this was fine. Alright, so Teferi can tuck Phoenix again, but they just have two cards in hand. Like, I I'm just what, really far behind. I think I need to draw a card. Hopefully no D-Sparks over there. Oh, baby. I'm not going to give my opponent a chance. Uh, I'm going to D-Spark. I'm not going to give them a chance to uh -oh. lightning strike their own Phoenix and just have it come back. All right, so let's have a think. Yeah, sadly, this is a tormenting voice and not a charter course. I don't know. We have a chance. I mean, uh, my opponent's hand is all gas, though, which is the unfortunate part because they there's there's on four lands all gas, and we don't have the land to charter course and finale. So I guess this turn we just need to lightning strike the ferry. I guess we can charter course first, see what we draw. I guess it works. So, if there's an opt... Damn it, why is there always an opt? Oh, another Teferi though, baby. That is a great draw. So, still in the game. And Crackling Drake is a nice follow-up. I could draw... Okay, Time Raveler, not exactly what I'm looking for. Like, but maybe I can keep my Teferi alive another turn. I think we want to Finale again instead of playing the Drake. To kill the Fairy this turn, we can Lightning Strike and Charter Course. Could also Tormenting Voice discarding land, but if we Charter Course, we could draw another Phoenix. If I get to untap with this Teferi, I think I have a chance. If they have another finale, I think I just lose. Like, I just don't think I can grind. Okay, they just have three finales. Yeah, it is just, it is so hard to grind through all that. I mean, it's not over yet. They could just have a bunch of garbage. Like, they discard another land. They could just flood. Oh, it is not good. Okay. Okay, step one, hero. It's a fairy. Get a token. I'm just gonna bounce the Phoenix. Right, it's not a bad sequence. I mean, that's. I know it's a horrible play, but I just need to dig deep. A mountain wouldn't be a bad draw. Lava coil. I guess we could lightning strike the fairy as well, but that might be overkill. Coil's annoying. If they play like a Narset, I don't want to waste all these lightning strikes on the fairy. We're almost out of heroes, but it's fine. Hero's not really the card that beats this deck. The problem is I've played so many Teferi's already. Teferi's my best card. That's a close call there. Don't know if Lightning Striking Teferi's correct. Okay. That's not that bad. I mean, drawing a land here is annoying, but that's not the worst. All right, so let's Crackling Drake. Crackling Drake's a problem. Okay, playing one land. I'm dead. Two spells or you just hard casting Arc Light Phoenix and I'm dead. We'll attack and if disconnects they're dead. Well, this also kills me too. I don't know of a way out. Could have also played Phoenix there. Probably would have been better. I don't know. Like, if they kill the Drake, I would rather be able to replay another Drake instead of playing the Phoenix. So, that was a close one. Alright, so against Asper, 
So with Hero of Precinct 1, how do we want a sideboard? Could bring in some spell pierces. Negate is an option, although their version is a bit of a hybrid with a lot of big Teferis and heroes still. Don't want to go overboard with anti-planeswalker stuff and then get killed by a hero that gets out of hand. So I don't think I'm bringing in the Warboss. Lara Dawnbringer could be a card that comes in as well. Don't think we need the Lava Coils. I think I like Beacon Bolt for Lyra. Um, Sahili could be okay. Narset's fine. But I'm not sure we want to negate. And then I can shave on some of the Tormenting Voices since those are bad against Narset. Shave an Augur or two since we've added some Planeswalkers that it can't find. Let's just cut all the Augurs, I think. I don't know, not sure about the Augur, since it is good against Hero, it blocks well, and it can pressure opposing Planeswalkers that are at one loyalty. But now that we brought in a bunch of Planeswalkers, the hit rate also went down. Uh, how do I board? Depends on what cards are in their deck. Um, so they're playing the Augur version. They might have... Uh, Alright, so I definitely want... I like Enter the God Eternals, Cry the Carnarium. I, I don't like Tyrant Scorn. I like Duress. Um, I think Command the Dreadhorde and Citadel. I don't know what's better, Citadel or Command. Probably Citadel. But I think I think having a big thing like this is good. D Spark is great. Um. Elder Spell, I'll pass on the Elder Spell, pass on Hero Precinct 1. I might want the Elder Spell if, if my opponent has Sahili, but until I see it, I don't think I want that card in my deck. Um, now, I have, I have one extra, one last card I can add. I think it's a Veto. Actually, I want to cut down into Fairy. Fairy is pretty bad. Uh, I want Hostage Taker. I think it's pretty good. So, I like this configuration here. And... Uh, Basically, if I can add one more card, I would add, um, sorry. If I know they have Sahili, I'll play Elder Spell, but until then, I'm not going to. All right, this end seems fine after sideboard. So do I want to keep up Spell Pierce for a Thought Erasure? I think I do. Plus, this could also represent shock in case they play hero. Spell pierce, maybe? And I think I'm gonna play a turn behind curve to keep up spell pierce here. I don't play around it. They're probably sandbagging an Narset, but still want to make use of the spell pierce while we can. I'm not just gonna say go forever. If they spell pierce or negate this, that's totally fine. They play a war boss, I have Oath for it. And then we can slam our own Narsets. And I'm fine minusing. Narset's annoying too, but I do have Oath. This is an interesting one. Don't hate the Shock, because that's a cheap spell for Phoenix and can help us finish off a Planeswalker. Oath kills Narset. Narsa down. Such violence is upsetting. All right, so we could get back a Phoenix, or we can just play Crackling Drake. If our opponent plays a five mana Teferi next turn, what lines up the best? Um, I guess just Crackling Drake, because then a hasty Phoenix can maybe surprise kill Teferi as well. So if they play Crackling Drake, I can enter the God Eternals it. That is what is going to happen. And if I ever get a chance to resolve Bolas to Citadel, I think that's pretty good. I'll mill myself. Don't want to put a Phoenix in their yard. It's going to be Enter God Eternals. Not bad. Let's take a look here. All right, let's start with a Charter Course. And then I can just double shock the zombie. Do we opt as well? Yeah, if we hit like another charter course, maybe we play that instead of double shocking. 
If they tap out, I kind of want to get a Citadel in play. Alright, they can get Phoenix back. With Shock here. Is it double shock? It is. Okay. So Phoenix is back. I think I just play Citadel. Ooh. Bolt lost the Citadel. That's a spicy one. Well, that could be an issue. All right, let's see if they can beat a Bolas of Citadel <laughs> at 21 life. I mean, I could lose this game very easily for sure. This game is not over. I think I like attack with Phoenix off for the trade and then just play Crackling Drake second main. I do, I do like this. Snap block. Block in, in a heartbeat here. And we've got the three spells to get back Phoenix. I think I keep lands in hand. Crackling Drake's annoying as hell. Top card is Teferi. I'm just gonna cast it. I mean, they can... They can't really spell pierce, right? Alright, so... First first step is just... Well... I think first step is tucking Crackling Drake. Because if they have a shock here... You can't tuck anymore? Does that matter? I'll just play the land first, because I might... Okay. So we've got plenty of burn spells to handle Planeswalkers, but not an infinite amount of Planeswalkers. Now I'll cast the Narset. I think I'll use the Narset. Sure. So using Narset here lets me reset. Okay, cool. So I found Thought Erasure. I can Thought Erasure now. We'll let that resolve. Shocks and strikes for days, and opt as well. And they have a phoenix in the yard, so... Kind of just want to take a lightning strike. Now I don't want to use uh, Citadel as much. Yeah, the heroes might be gone. It does make sense to take them out against the Drake deck, since or the Phoenix deck, since we've got so many cheap burn spells. Alright, let's talk Crackling Drake. Alright, Teferi minuses. I need to be careful of just getting burned out. Alright, cast Teferi. So now do I just plus the Teferi? Well, let's play the Guard Mage first. That, oh, that, that's basically... So we're gonna have to Lightning Strike Narset, then Opt, and then Shock Teferi. Another Teferi. I don't want to cast this. All these cards also synergize nicely with the Citadel, Thought Erasure bottoming the land, Narset resetting the top, Guard Mage drawing a card. Another Guard Mage? That's gas. So we're probably not winning this one. Oh, and a Dovin's Veto? Hell yeah, and a D-Spark. Woo! So yeah, we have to Lightning Strike, Narset. Step one, if they have a Counterspell, we're super dead. Lightning Striking the Narset. I kind of think I just counter that. I'm just going to counter that. I think that's game. If I can keep Narset in play... Um... It's pretty good. Alright, Teferi got shocked. We can opt just to get back a Phoenix. Don't think that's worth it. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let me just go play this. Taps. Play this. I'm no All right, so we're a super dead here. Citadel did a ton of work. Another land on top. They still have an Oath, so plenty of life gain. So I don't think we can hope to burn them out somehow. Just getting a bit more information about how they potentially sideboard it, so we can adjust for game three. Discard Hallowed Fountain. Citadel's so good. Alright, Hardcast Arc Light. Tax a Fairy now. 
I kind of just want to let Teferi take it and then oath the Arclight Phoenix. Is that crazy? I'm just going to let that happen. I have another Teferi, so I don't care if it gets shocked now. Do we like Warboss? I mean, Warboss still gets blocked by the Guard Mage pretty well. So I don't know if that's the way to do it. Anything else in the sideboard to consider? We brought in the Beacon Bolts, we haven't seen any Lyras, but they do play well with the Citadel plan, so I kind of expect there to be at least one Lyra lurking around somewhere. So that's the main reason why we want Beacon Bolt. 24 cards left in my deck. I, I could just mill out, I just have to be aware that that's a, a possibility. I'm gonna just play the Narset. Could maybe shave some Shocks if they take out heroes, but they might bring them back for the third game. And they're still useful at finishing off Planeswalkers. Thought Erasure, I guess? Spell Pierce is still fine, I think. Do we want Negates? I'm not sure. Could be okay, Counter Citadel and stuff. Kinda depends whether or not they switch back to the hero plan. If they're back on the hero plan, then Negate is probably not amazing. If they're still on the Citadel Planeswalker go big plan, then Negate could be fine. I can also just get them dead with Citadel at some point here. Draw step Thought Erasure. Chart of course, Opt, Crackling Drake. I mean, none of these cards have text except for Crackling Drake. So we're taking a look at how they sideboard it here. Cry makes sense as it's great against Phoenix. The Spark, Dovin's Veto. You know what? I'm not done yet. Okay, there's a cry on top of my deck. I think that's that's gonna be enough. There's a Beacon Bolt. Don't really want to show it. But it would be okay here, killing the Guard Mages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 permanents. So, 2 more permanents. Alright, Beacon Bolting that... ...is annoying. I cannot do anything about that. Maybe they take out Lyra if we show them the Beacon Bolt. And then I can take out Beacon Bolt for game 3. Beacon Bolt again. Alright, let's stop Citadel. Another hostage taker. So yeah, maybe... Maybe shave a shock or two, take out the beacon bolts. And then... Anything else we want to change? Maybe bring in those negates. Having too many reactive spells also makes Phoenix worse. That's the second D spark. So this seems like a pretty rough matchup. Between all the three mana planeswalkers, all the D sparks, the cry. Hostage taker is a good one to know about. So definitely want all the lightning strikes. I don't think we need lava coils necessarily. Are they almost decking? 12 cards remaining. Discard 4 cards. Right. Godless Shrine, Chapel, Chapel, Glacier. I forgot to duress my opponent in their draw step. Instant Speed Duress. Duress and Thought Erasure also makes our reactive spells worse. But then again, Warboss lines up so poorly against Guard Mage. Thought Erasure, which I can Erasure them in their next draw step. But maybe that's our best chance, just go to low to the ground. Since we're probably not winning a long game. Oster Staker Guard Mage again and replay it. 
Now, next turn they're dead. Maybe this turn they're dead? Yeah, next turn they're dead. Eight cards remaining. Let's try this. But we're probably dead to the Oath of Kaya and an attack from everyone next turn. Another draw step. Thought Erasure. Can't opt because of the fairy. Alright, eh, GG's. Well, six cards remaining, we did see basically their entire deck. But they might make some adjustments for game three here. Could shave a shock or two. Take out the beacon bolts. Bring in war boss. Maybe shave another tormenting voice. Although we're also making our finale worse. Maybe just shave a finale for taking out so many sorceries, because between all the lava coils that are gone and a tormenting voice, finale also gets a bit worse. So I think I like this. Just try and go underneath them with the war boss. Hope to clear a path with Lightning Strike. Lava Coil could also kill the Guard Mage, but I'm not sure if that's a game we want to be playing. Sheevan Fire could maybe be okay, but I think Shock going to Planeswalkers is probably still more relevant. And I still don't think we like Augur, especially now that we have so many creatures as well. All right, so we didn't see any Planeswalkers that game. Doesn't mean that they don't have any, but we just didn't see any. Um... No Planeswalkers means that I, I'm inclined to keep the same configuration. We also didn't see any Lava Coils in their deck. Lightning Strikes only. They did have Narset. Narset, but Narset alone is not worth putting an Elder Spell in my deck for. I think I just go with this. Citadel is, was insane in that game, but also just running out of cards in my library is, an, is a possibility. I just I do have to be careful that I don't mill myself out. Uh, I don't think that, that that will happen, but um, no, I'm just going to run this back. Yeah, Coil kills Hostage Taker, but Lightning Strike is much better there since we can potentially kill it before they get to play the creature off of it. Well, first hand was a mulligan. This hand is also quite terrible, but I think we got to keep. Hope to draw a second land, short of course, discarding maybe finally. Got a Lightning Strike as interaction, Crackling Drake as a threat. It's pretty bad, but I don't think I want to go to five. So they've they've kept six. We're keeping six. There's our land. I'm in a bottom of a five mana spell when my hand looks like this. Watery Grave. All shock lands is, is gross. Charts. Discarded a finale. I'll play Hallowed Fountain here because this is our only play. That way I can maybe cast an Narset without having to shock myself. They also played Narset. Found Spell Pierce. Could have not minus Narset to play around Oath of Kaya. But we're kind of desperate to find some uh, cantrips to hit our land drops. So we can Lightning Strike Narset and then keep up Spell Pierce, which they know about, so they can easily play around it. Ooh, wow. So I already have a D Spark. Teferi is a little awkward in the face of a Narset. An opponent has Spell Pierce, which makes Bolas a Citadel way worse. Let's go Thought Erasure. Probably going to regret taking that one. Right, that's uh, minus. If they find a Lightning Strike, they kill Narset. They found a Shock. They already have a lightning strike. My mind needs a rest. Got double spell pierce. I think I'm fine letting them thought erasure instead of spell piercing here. Is this where I just play elite guard mage? So that I can pressure this Narset? Kind of want to just do that. I don't get to draw a card, but I get to kill Narset maybe? I don't know. I don't feel like I played this game very well. Could play the war boss, but that doesn't line up all that well against the guard mage that's in play. Guard mage is going to kill Narset. 
don't like staying back here with all these spell pierces, but I think it's wrong to go for the war boss. Really just need a an extra land. A mountain preferably. Alright, I'll attack Narset and hopefully that works. Cool. Narset off the table. Step one complete. Alright, let's try Thought Erasure. Do we double spell pierce Thought Erasure? Don't think we do. So it's either the finale or one of the Crackling Drake. I think it's Crackling Drake. I think that's the problem card. Teferi Time Raveler. Alright, I'm gonna keep that on top of my deck. That shuts out the spell pierces, that shuts out finale. But of course, the later we go, the worse spell pierce it becomes. So here we could go for war boss, keep up spell pierce. In the graveyard we have a charter course and a lightning strike, so we could tap out and try and kill guard mage, but if they have a Dovin's Veto, that's also pretty bad. So I think I like war boss, keep up spell pierce. Okay, here's a war boss. So they have war boss plus spell pierce. So we're gonna actually play it. They might spell pierce it, which I'll pay the two. The fairy. We could tap them out with a spell pierce. If we don't spell pierce, then can't even use it anymore. Yeah, this the fairy's a problem. I think I do spell pierce. They're gonna pay. They could bounce a war boss, stay back with a guard mage. And then we can't even find Ellie because of the fairy. And they're just gonna hang back. Fair enough. If I can keep Teferi in play, that we shut off Finale plus Spell Pierce out of our opponent's hand, I have answers to everything else. So let's move to combat first. Okay, they're going to combat. Now this this is fine because I can I I, I can block one. Then my opponent can shock Elite Guard Mage. They want here, but they might just play Crackling Drake. They went for shock. Did they draw land? They did. So here's the Drake. Okay, so... Alright, well, the war boss plan may, may or may not work out here. We'll find out in a second. Here goes nothing. So yeah, if they also take her the Drake, we're, I guess, in a bit of trouble. Cry isn't too bad. Alright, Cry plus Oath is pretty bad. But there's a war boss. So finally still doesn't do anything because of the fairy. So might as well war boss. Another boss is bad though. Highly annoying actually. Stop that. Now. Another land is rough. Yeah, the fairy makes things pretty complicated for our deck. Especially if they're sideboard if we want to keep up spell pierce, which now doesn't work. So we could see five mana the fairy show up now. Just gonna play more war boss and hope one of them gets to stick. Let's go with erasure. Another boss. Wow, that is real rough. We're gonna kill this one with oath. Finale. What does that do? Charter course plus a burn spell. Let's take the finale. Thought erasure takes finale. Baby. We'll keep the oath. Are we gonna see hostage taker here? That would be difficult for us to beat. I'm gonna bounce oath. Alright, just bouncing oath, killing war boss. They might have more Teferi's in hand. Okay, so Teferi's gonna die. They're gonna play another war boss. Phoenix. So they're both bad if they have another cry. Um think War Boss is slightly better. They also know about this one as opposed to the Phoenix. We will meet again. 
Hostage taker. Be hell yeah. That's just a nut. They don't have lightning strike. And if they do, then we have oath. Ooh, hostage taker. Yep. That's what we were afraid of. Replay it right away. Beautiful. Now I'm at 29 life to their 13. How do they have 13 life? What did we deal them damage with? Guard mage? Do they shock themselves? They shock themselves once. I think we gotta dig for an answer here. Sahil is a bit late to the party. Another opts. It's not gonna do it here. Lightning strike also a little bit late since the uh, taking hostage part already happened. Can just lightning strike the war boss. I guess that's fine. Uh, lightning strike kills boss. Hostage taker could also be used with Teferi bouncing it and replaying it, so that could be annoying later. So this is where I hope to not flood out. Of course, I do draw a land. Still three cards in hand. Their late game is better than ours. That's two finales gone. We boarded one out. So we've got some Crackling Drakes as fine draws. Maybe I should be attacking with the Hostage Taker too. But I have, I'm the one who has Bolas to Citadel in my deck, so preserving my life total is key. Don't really want to play Sahili without getting any value. So you could just play a Phoenix. Keep land in hand still. This is probably going to get desparked, but that's fine. That means that maybe a Crackling Drake gets to stick around. Could also hang back with a Phoenix, try and block the Hostage Taker. Since we do have a bit of a life total discrepancy. I see no reason to despark this Phoenix. But I'm probably going to lose a Phoenix anyway here. They're not even going to attack, they're just trying to trade with Hostage Taker. Another land. Yeah, we'll just pass again. No reason to despark the Phoenix because I, I need to save that for Crackling Drake. I could draw Cry of the Carnarium. I have Oath that can kill it. Um, I just need I just need my opponent to start drawing some lands here too. And I need myself. To, I need to start drawing spells. Okay, so there's a land. That's good. That's good news. And there's a spell. Not a great spell, but. At least this will dig me. Oh, Sahila, get out of here. And land, get out of here. Couldn't ask for a better one there. See, so I do have Sahili. Still not worth playing any of these. Alright, I think I'm attacking now. Just to get the extra card. Tilt. Crackling Drake's not bad. I think I want to wait until I can Crackling Drake keep up Lightning Strike in case of another Hostage Taker. Tilt. Hope they don't Thought Erasure us again. That's fine. I have so many great top decks that... I think I gotta take two here. I don't want... I think I win the top deck. I, I think I win the long game. Like, I, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to take unnecessary damage. Okay, so we're going to respond to this trigger with D-Spark. D-Spark. That way, they if they if they draw... They can't draw a negate off the Crackling Drake to counter the D-Spark. Okay, so that that's three Drakes down. Like, we just need them to not draw Drake number four. Like, that's really the card that we're most terrified of. Also, just any spell would be amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. I will be activating this Narset. Like, there's so many good cards I can hit. Good Lightning Strike now in case they draw into a counter spell here. I just can't afford to lose my Narset and get nothing out of it. Thought Erasure, Dovin's Veto, or Oath of Kaya? Yeah, Roll would be a good top deck. Do have one of those. More Crackling Drakes would be good. The one finale we have left could be okay. Probably Dovin's Veto. And yeah, there's a Veto, so how do we wait it? They could have countered it. 
Still gonna not attack. I'm still just gonna play for Bolas to Citadel. Like, I, I don't need to get aggressive. Playing out our lands in case we string together some card draw spells. Keep one or two lands in hand in case of Charter Course type effects. All right. Give me anything here. Come on, deck. Gross. I wish all my Narset activations were not <laughs> four gas spells followed by a million lands. All right. Well, guess we're attacking. If the hostage taker was attacking us this entire time, we probably would have died already. But it makes sense to keep it back in case we top deck like a uh, Legion War Boss as well. Alright, the race is on. I think I hold the Lightning Strike for at least one more turn. Cry. Yeah, that's a bummer. A Lightning Strike in our own Phoenix is not gonna work. Shock. Probably would have shocked the hostage taker had it, uh, had we had it in hand before. Probably just say go for now. Take a bit of damage from this taker. Another hostage taker's insane draw. That gives us insulation against Crackling Drake, especially with Vito to protect it. Double shock. All right, I guess now I'm probably gonna lightning strike the taker. Oh, baby, elite guard mage. That is. Strike is fine. Okay, D Spark's also a great one to have access to now. So now, now I'm banking up uh, I'm out of, a lot of answers. I'm going to look at my graveyard real quick, just to make them think we maybe have a finale. So they don't counter Narsets. We have one Phoenix in there. I just need to not lose to something dumb. That, I think that classifies as something dumb. Don't like having to Dovin's Veto and Narset, but I, I do think that that counts as something dumb. Don't really want to double shock the Guard Mage. Want to keep the double shock for when we maybe get back Phoenix in one turn. Yeah, we could have gone for the double shock and maybe they Dovin's Veto the second shock and Narset resolves and then we can top deck from there. Could have been reasonable too. Resolves. Alright, that resolving is in inclines me to not attack with Guard Mage, which I know that sounds like a dumb thing. But now that the Teferi has arrived, I think uh, we're in trouble. I want to protect Teferi. Like, I can just ultimate a Teferi, and putting my opponent to 7 is, like, whatever. Like, I I, I just I just have the long game, so I, I don't need to... Um, I don't need to do anything stupid. Should I despark this? I kind of think I should just despark this. I know that sounds like a spew of a despark, but I don't want my Teferi to get shocked. If I block, maybe I just block, but then my Enter the God Eternals is really bad. I'll just block. I think after sideboard, the matchup is probably not very good for us. In game one, when they still have the heroes, we probably stand a better chance because we have good answers for those. But this configuration after sideboard is very difficult to play against for us. Could have hoped to cast three spells next turn to get back double Phoenix. So they found three Phoenixes if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so they found almost all the Phoenixes in their deck. Well, it's not a bad one. Don't think we play around another Veto. Just gonna finally first and see what happens. Can get back. 
So we've got double Phoenix in the graveyard. We can get back Lightning Strike and then probably chart a course. Or we can get Opten chart a course since we've got double shock anyway. Let's go with Opts and chart a course. Now I have promise for X equals 2 on chart a course and Opts. Can't do anything about it. And then we want to click on a chart of course first and then opts. So we opt first in case we draw into a phoenix. Spell Pierce not looking great here. Might be better than a land still. Uh, let's get back double phoenix. Try and kill Teferi and then maybe finish him off with the shocks. Alright, so two are probably coming, both coming at Teferi. Oath will trigger. I will attempt to despark one of them. Despark. So we could shock our own Phoenix so it doesn't get exiled. Um, but I think we probably need to double shock Teferi here. They might have another Teferi in hand anyway. What else can they have in hand here? So we could also just play Crackling Drake, but then... I don't know, kind of in a tough spot. Think we try and kill Teferi? Alright, shock. Shock. Teferi down, not out. Say go. Hostage taker, yeah, that's rough. Could have played our land in case we opted into a lightning strike. At least they're not taking a Drake. Alright, here's Arclight Phoenix. Attempt to put our opponent to two. Can we opt into another Shock to kill the Phoenix? I don't think we have another Shock in our deck since we boarded one out. So this is going to put us to two. And then Oath kills us if we ever attack a Planeswalker again. So I have 17 cards in their deck. I know the God Eternals could build them out. It's pretty unlikely to happen, but... Alright. Keep the card on top. So we could roll. Minus. But then we still die to the Hostage Taker, so we probably need to Crackling Drake, hope it survives somehow. There's the Crackling Drake. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully Ender the God Eternals seals the deal on that one. Have they seen all their Phoenixes? Once two are exiled, one is here. And that's it. So they have not. So probably killing the Phoenix. Because if they have a bounce spell for the Hostage Taker to do the shenanigans, then we're dead anyway, since they can just bounce our blocker as well. So rather kill the Phoenix. Alright, we're dead to removal. I'm just gonna mill them. Alright, GG's. Well, I don't think we necessarily played poorly this game, just difficult matchup. Great opponent, of course. Got it! Boom! Well, I let the chat decide. Chat shows for the Phoenix deck. Although, it's not like the Mono Red deck would have been amazing here, since they have so much life gain. So the best deck to face against Asper would have probably been the Ramp deck, or just a Mirror Match. Although I don't think I'm winning a Mirror Match, to be honest. Especially not with the Bolas Citadel deck. So I think Ramp probably would have had the best chance against Asper out of these four decks. But we played this in the first round, so... That wasn't an option. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I wanted to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.